so I'm going to try something new here. We'll see how this goes. I'm shooting basically a vlog and going to make that into an email as well. So let's do it. Uh, it's about 6.40 p.m. on Wednesday. I'm on a beach in Barcelona called Nova Icaria. Really cool little city beach. I know a lot of people say city beaches aren't great, but the best thing about them is you can walk to them. <laughs> so the sale for this week at Fringe is bumper plates. And I know last I talked to you guys, I was talking about how our packages sale is pretty near and dear to my heart. One of the secrets about me is that I fall in love easily, so a lot of things are near and dear to my heart. And our bumper plate sale is pretty big as well. So when Fringe first came onto the scene, bumpers, in my opinion, were in a pretty sorry state. Obviously there were the high temp bumpers, which we carry, and we actually have uh, nice upgraded USA made Fringe Sport bumpers that I'm really partial to uh, coming, or sorry, live on the site, so you should check those out. And high temps have always been decent bumpers. I, I would consider them essentially the baseline for durability. Like you have to do at least as well as high temp in order to play in the game. I know there are a lot of companies out there, especially recently, who don't agree with this and think you can just put out, well, let's not talk about that. But anyways, so you got to be at least as durable as that. But I have bust quite a few, especially 10 pounders or bust the inserts out of them on high temp. And so when Fringe started up, one of the things I really looked at is I said, we've got to make these bumper plates better. And after visiting many, many, many factories, uh, at one point, I, I do think I visited just about every bumper plate factory in the US or in Asia. Didn't really check any out in Europe because of cost considerations there. And we worked and worked and worked to create a bumper plate that we could bring to market at a relatively low price. It doesn't have to be the cheapest bumper plate in the world, but it does have to be a value price and able to compete down there on the low end, but be incredibly, incredibly durable. And I remember, never going to forget, one day we got a sample of a bumper plate. It was almost not anything special, like there was nothing about it initially that was causing us to think that it was a great bumper plate. I mean, it was just another sample that came through. And I unwrapped it, and I took a look at it, and I was like, holy crap, this is it. I, again, remember just like looking at that bumper plate and being amazed. So that was really the start of what we're doing now with our One Fit Wonder bumper plates, which are so great that the 10 pound plates are warranted for a full year of commercial use. And you know, if you click around, you can even see a video of us throwing them off of our roof, which it's crazy, even in today's day and age, there's still companies that are saying, don't drop your bumper plates from above the waist. And there's also a YouTube video out there that says, save the tens, you know, load up. You know, if you want to make a lightweight barbell, load up 25s on a aluminum training bar, which in my opinion is A, outdated. I mean, there are good 10 pound plates out there and B, you're bordering on dangerous because aluminum bears stress differently than steel does. And those aluminum training barbells are actually made for training, not made for lifting or working out. Yeah, daddy's working on, on the working vacation. So back to the bumper plates. We've got this style now that we continue to upgrade and continue to engineer and make changes and collect feedback on. <laughs> and what we're doing with it now is we've got an insert that's actually molded into the bumper plate that makes it more durable and you always get problems with materials when you have different materials, heterogeneous materials coming together. So now we've got a larger contact area with what we're doing and we're molding that plate, excuse me, that insert in. 
Additionally, around the insert, we've got essentially a shock absorber layer of low durometer rubber right around where it meets. That helps those heterogeneous steel and rubber combine. And then we've got a high durometer rubber that comprises the rest of the plate. Really creates a very, very durable plate. Oh, and by the way, the 10 and 15 pounds, we do a different durometer than the 25 through 55 pound plates. On top of that, of course, we're doing our USA made plates where we've got a little bit of magic in there as well. Anyways, now you can stop following if you're not interested anymore. I just want to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here in Barcelona. So, I lived abroad when I was a child. From uh, I lived in Cairo when I was a little kid, and then I lived in Brazil when I was in college. And I really love America. <laughs> she said hola. But I also love living abroad, and I wanted to give this experience to my kids. Fringe is, you know, almost another child to me, although definitely a very distant third place to my two real flesh and blood human children. <laughs> but I need to be able to take care of Fringe at the same time of taking care of and giving my kids the worldly experiences. Whoops, that I'm able to. <laughs> Well, anyways, giving them an experience in Barcelona, giving them an experience abroad, it's been successful so far. This is Peter signing out. Top yourself on for this week only. Be well.